to the Department of Veterans Affairs about 348 of the remaining 496,000 World War II veterans die every day. By the year 2036, it's estimated there will be no living veterans of World War II left to recount their experiences. A pair of local men have decided to dedicate their remaining years to making sure the World War II veterans from Muskegon County will be remembered forever. As 13 on your side's Brent Ashcroft shows us in Our Michigan Life. <laughs> Six days a week, right. breakfast is served right. at Herbie's Cafe. I knew most of those guys. It's a place where rehashing the past. In that old church too, I do believe. Over a hearty plate of hash browns. Oh, well, I know John. Is always on the menu. Good yeah. enough. Mondays are special. Did you hear about that? Yeah. That's the day Harry is here. Yeah, okay. And makes his rounds. Good morning, I'm Harry Cleveland. Shy. I want to give you a picture. Okay. Him. I got to get his name from you. Far from it. I talk to everybody. Most yeah. can't even enter. What, you in World War II? before Harry hones in. That's how I operate. His goal? I'll get back with you and let you know. To collect valuable information. I want to get everyone I can. While Harry handles Herbie's. Richard. Six in a family. Researches. I have gone through all those years on microfilm. He hopes each toggle, every click. One day to the next. Lead to discovery. It's a never ending job. Harry and Richard are building a war memorial. They deserve to be honored. One like no other. This has never happened for any other county in the United States. They're trying to find and document every World War II veteran from Muskegon County. It takes a person who is, let's say, obsessed. Richard started this project in 2009. He combines images. The military photographs are definitely preferred. With information. Meticulous is the word. Then adds them to the display. The good news? He's found over 9,500 veterans. Can't stop. The not so good news? I'm only halfway after 10 years. Hi, George. I was so extremely busy for several years actually sitting down and meeting with the, the veterans. Like 99-year-old George Lakatos. I just have a few questions for you. Army 159th Infantry Division. You got a bottom uh, rank. Fought in all five years of the war. You were infantry division. Yes, but not very long. And 96-year-old okay. Bill Malda. Two weeks after the day. A I highly decorated out. Army private with quite a tale to tell. I had a chance to ride with General Eisenhower one time. <laughs> Finding the remaining veterans has become increasingly difficult. They almost all have died. Taking everything with them to the grave. Now, when the children are 70 years old themselves, they sometimes know nothing. Giving each image a voice, collectively saying, this is who I was, this is what I did for you. If they would have stopped Hitler, or uh, Hirohito, where would we be? It's important to the project to find all of the fallen. 430 men, all men, who were killed and never came back. No one will be left behind. We have 426 pictures of those men. This memorial may never be completed. There are so many of them that we don't have. I don't want to interrupt your breakfast. That won't stop Harry from hanging out at Herbie's. Was your father in World War II? Or Richard from his daily date with Google. Here a little bit better. And occasional expeditions. Were you in the Army? Yeah. To retirement communities. So that years from now, somebody will recognize their great-great-grandfather. This has become their final mission. I'm going to do it till I can't go no more. <laughs> Neither Richard nor Harry are getting paid for any of their work on this project. They say it was already paid for 75 years ago by the men and women from Muskegon who fought and gave their lives in World War II. Richard and Harry could really use your help. If you're related to or know of any World War II veterans from Muskegon, you can email Richard at remull at gmail.com or you can call him 231-744-3418. There's also a website you can check out, www2vets.net. 
All of this information is also available on the web version of this story, which can be found at 13onyourside.com. I hope they get a big response. Thanks, Brent.